Hi everybody, Kevin here. Welcome to the Claremont Classic Garage. Today we're going to continue on the quarter panel job on our poor old Dodge Caliber. Uh, what I'm going to do now is start preparing both sides of the car to um, accept, I guess is the term, the new panels. We'll work on this side first. Uh, what I have to do is I have to dress down the cutoff wheel left a bit of a burr there. we got to get rid of that. And we'll take the paint off where we're going to be working. I have to grind where we cut the spot welds because there's little bits of seam sealer and stuff there. We want to get that all cleaned up. I have to address this rust along here. And same thing underneath here on the bottom of it. Uh, grind the remains of the old spot welds. And we'll get a hammer and dolly and just make sure this is all nice and flat and smooth ready to take the new panel. In here I have to trim this back a bit and the same thing remove the paint and then what we'll do we'll cut it here and then we'll bend it in slightly and then our new panel we're gonna cut it right about there and then we could tack it in the in the little trough that we've created and then just put a little bit of plastic and it'll be good you won't see a thing. So let's get started. Pretty exciting. This is going to be the first kind of real world, real time use of our um, bodywork toolkit here that we put together instead of the bodywork stuff being all over the shop. Mostly what we're going to need for this operation is grinders. Lots of grinders. Now a long time ago I got really sick of Putting the grinding wheel on, then taking it off because I needed the flapper wheel, then taking that off because I needed the cup brush. Oh, tick me off. So I started shopping around at auctions and swap meets and stuff. And you can usually buy a, a secondhand four and a half inch angle grinder for 10 bucks or less. So that's what I've done. I've got a whole bunch of them. This one here I actually won as a door prize at a cruise night or something. I don't know. But anyway, um, and then you just keep one set up with each implement. It's way easier. So let's get to work. First thing I'm going to do is, is clean up this flange. I've gone with a scraper and taken off the big gobs of seam sealer because I don't want that getting my grinding wheel all plugged up. And now we'll just go down here with an angle grinder and, and just touch this and make sure there's no high spots. Now I'll go across here with the same grinder and take off this little burr. Now we'll use a 90 degree air grinder with a roll lock disc on it to take off the paint. Now we're going to use our angle grinder and just take the edge off of this all the way down because we have to have room to put our panel over this and then we'll um, once we've got that taken down, I'll put a little slit in there and we'll just bend that in ever so slightly. Um, on an older car, the quarter panel would wrap around here and there would be a set of spot welds into the door jam. On this car, the quarter panel, the whole side of the car is one piece. So we have to kind of graft the quarter panel into here. But that's okay. Not a problem. Now we're going to go with the cut brush. And just get all this loose stuff off of here. Well, you can see now that I've cleaned it up, it's all pinholey along here. And you can see there's not really a lot of structure there. So this is going to have to be uh, repaired or replaced. I may just um, trim it back here like this and, and leave this piece on our replacement quarter panel and plug weld it. Um, through here that's something we could do it's not the greatest situation in the world to be welding up in these fender wells but um, if you have to you have to um, we'll see what we got to do I'll uh, think about that while I'm working on this other stuff now we're going to continue with the cup brush and just clean up some of this crap back here I took off the paint along here because we'll be plug welding uh, to that and then I went underneath there and I, with the angle grinder and I cleaned up where all the old spot welts were. Now we're just going to, um, with a hammer and dolly, get this back into shape. 
And then we'll evaluate the situation with this wheelhouse. The front half of the wheelhouse is pretty good. It's just this little back piece here that's that's bad. Um, same as the other side pretty much. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to nip this little section out and we'll um, fabricate a new piece and and tack it in there. I saved um, the, the pieces of metal that I cut off the side of it here just in case I had to make any little bits and pieces. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll make a... We'll make a new piece for here, and at the same time, we'll make a new piece for, for this side, because we've got the same situation here. The front solid, the back little bit needs a new piece. So, um, basically we've got all the prep work done on this side. I'm going to do the exact same job on the other side, and I'll be back once that's done. I've got both sides roughly roughly cleaned up and prepared. What I'm going to do now is start making these two little patch pieces that we need. First step in making our patch is to cut a piece of metal. So we've got our handy dandy uh, Princess Auto bench mounted metal shear in the vise here and we'll just slowly, this thing is pretty cool. Look at that how it cuts. And we'll cut off. I need a strip of metal two and a quarter inch wide. Uh, the flange is about three quarters of an inch. And it's got to go about an inch and a half up the wheelhouse to get into solid metal. There we go. Sometimes a more complicated patch, you can make it out of cardboard or paper first and then transfer it over to the metal like, like a pattern. But um, on this one, I'm just going to kind of wing it. First thing I have to do is take this little triangle out. Then we have to nip this little sliver out here. Now I have to bend this flange. Now it can be a little tricky because... I'm trying to bend it 90 degrees, but at the same time going around this little arc here. So um, I'll show you the best way I know how to do that. Keeping in mind that I am not anything even remotely close to being a body man or a welder or a sheet metal guy. This is just stuff I've picked up uh, along the way from people that actually knew what they were doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold it with these two flange clamps. And then you just slowly... You get a pair of linesman pliers and you just slowly work your way back and forth and you just you just bend it a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. It will never be perfect, but for an inner panel like that, I should be able to get it close enough. It fits over what's there pretty nicely, so I think we're on the right track. Now, always be careful with sheet metal. You can see here I, I'm bleeding all over my own part. Um, next thing I got to do is trim this to length a little bit and we could start fitting it in um, at the other end. That looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead now. I got to dress a little bit more of this primer off and then we can trim away the rotted part and we can get this patch put in. Here's our old section cut out. Now we're going to make one more test fit of this new piece before we weld it in. Perfect. Now we can tack it in. Now, of course, before we do any welding on the car, we unhook the battery. And just because it's right here, I'm going to unhook the computer too. There we go. Now we should have no trouble. Now, before I start welding, I got my two old Lincoln welders here. But um, for this one, I think I'm going to try my old Mastercraft one. I seem to remember that this thing was really good on thin sheet metal when you run it in, in low range. So we're going to try that one. This thing has to be about 30 years old. It, it, it has been through the mill. I've done so much work with this thing. Um, back in the old days, we fixed spun torsion bars with it. We fixed frame rails. We made 
made big quarter panel patches. This thing put them on. Um, this thing has done a lot of work for me. I fixed it. I've brought it back from the dead more times than I can imagine. Most of the diodes in it over the years have popped and I, I've replaced it with, with heavy duty diodes from truck alternators as, as they went. But it, it still keeps going. Um, one time I had to put a new gun on it. Anyway, we're going to fire it up here and see how it does on this little car. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It turns on, that's something. That's another thing. One time the fan went in it. And what did I do? I cobbled something up. It might be a have two or three computer fans in it or something now. But it, I mean, it works. When I run it, I leave this open. Get as much in there as we can. Anyway, let me grab the mask and we'll see if we can get this thing working. What do you know? The old thing still works. I'm going to grab an angle grinder now and dress down these ugly welds I just made. That turned out super. I'm going to make a little patch, uh, same for the other side and get it welded in. And then we will go ahead and we can brush prime in here with some heavy ru rust primer and we'll seam seal this. And uh, we also need to seam seal the back side because we don't want any water or moisture getting in there and ruining our fun. We got our patch for the other side made. Um, here's the piece we cut out. Here's our new one. I'm not sure if I'm exactly ready to uh, be set loose on the English wheels in the Aston Martin factory, but um, hey, we have the raw talent we need to fix rusty Dodge calibers, and I guess that's enough. Anyway, I'm going to go get this thing put on and tack it on, and we'll see what it looks like. That's the left side done. Now I'm going to go ahead and brush on some rust primer. There's one nice coat of trim clad rust primer on there. Got a nice coat of rust primer on either side now. We'll let this dry and then I'm going to put some seam sealer and then I'll hit it with another coat of primer on top of that. I got the sealer put on. I'm going to let it dry for a while. And uh, when I come back, we'll put some more primer on this. And while that's drying, we're going to start preparing our new quarter panels to go on. So I guess for now, that's going to be it. Um, anyway, tune in next time uh, for the continuing saga of Dodge Caliber Restoration. Um, <laughs> you don't want to miss it, that's for sure. Until then, I guess this is Kevin checking out from the Claremont Classic Garage. Thanks and so long.